Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today is still a sore day, so I have to take it slow, but it is what it is. I got this comment right here, and I'm going to just blow it up for you. I used both AMD and NVIDIA GPUs, but man, your shilling to NVIDIA GPUs made it tough to even start the first five minutes of the video. I'm sure the video is good outside of it. Yeah, it's not the first time I've gotten a comment like this about using NVIDIA on Linux. You see, the NVIDIA, the, the Linux community likes to pretend they're not toxic and they're not fanboys and they don't act like this, but it really comes down to it. You mentioned use NVIDIA in any Linux Discord and you will get shit on constantly. And it is so stupid and childish and ridiculous and it really needs to stop because as of the 555 drivers and X Wayland 24.1, NVIDIA no longer has any Wayland issues uh, when referring to graphical glitches or issues or weird bugs. KDE is another issue because, well, it's KDE and that's always going to be a plasma issue. I responded the best that I could because honestly, if I went with AMD, it would slow down my workflow by a ridiculous huge amount. I use CUDA for video editing. Video editing is very, very important to me. And I use DaVinci's Resolve, which is right here. And DaVinci's Resolve uses CUDA for rendering videos out and also dealing with videos in the timeline. It's why it's so fast. It's why it's so efficient. And I need that. And most people don't understand that. The reason I'm able to get out so many videos is because I switched to NVIDIA. Because my workflow sped up by a ridiculous amount. Probably about, oh, if I was going to say 178% or more. Because of how fast and efficient NVIDIA really is. I used to render and edit videos on Mac OS and record them on Windows. And the reason I would render them on Mac OS with the AMD GPU is because rendering on Mac OS is like giving AMD crack, okay? It was stupidly fast. And then I switched to Ryzen and no longer ran an Intel Hackintosh. And that crack rindled away because, well, you need what's called a pat fix for Hackintoshing, and that slowed a lot of things down. And the GPU could not perform as it could, as it should, right? And then, of course, macOS stopped optimizing its editors for AMD and started optimizing them instead for their own solution, which is very unfortunate. I gotta quit desktop or else it's gonna beep at me again. And that, in turn, ended up being a really, really crappy decision on their point of view. It's eventually led to the reason why I ditched AMD completely or NVIDIA and moved on with my life with a faster workflow because CUDA is of course as I said very very important to the speed of my workflow. Another thing is when repairing uh, things like this by the way I'm gonna just can I click here yeah I mean look at this see this NVIDIA still has the best AI and I don't like AI in certain situations outside of uh, enhancements of images and maybe sometimes correcting video issues like when i borrowed a 7900 xtx and i recorded a video with it by the way you guys never saw that video because i ended up deleting it because of how horrible it looked when i recorded it with obs and av1 it was not pretty not pretty at all but i had to run it through ai to try to fix it and uh i tried to run it through ai using the 7900 xtx and it would have taken six days. But with NVIDIA, it would have only taken four hours. So, yeah. I mean, clear winner there. <laughs> I don't like fanboy arguments about NVIDIA versus AMD. Let people use what they want to use. I want fast, efficient gaming. I want to have RTX. I want to have DLSS. That's my choice. If you don't like that, Keep quiet about it. Do yourself a favor. Look less like a jackass than normal. Okay? It will suit you way better. Because comments like those, honestly, they bring the entire, the entire Linux community down. And you don't want that. 
You want people to see the Linux community for what it is, a helpful place with good people, not a toxic shithole with nothing but a-holes walking around. And it's very rare that I swear, but we did it anyway. So we need to do better. Again, I use NVIDIA. It's fast, efficient, and honestly, uh, it uses very little to no power and it stays ridiculously cool. Like, core control, let's open it up. We're sitting here idle at 38C. Yeah, minimum is 29C by the way. And we have fan control now, which is great. And our GPU loads only at 9% because we're recording a video, right? You can find a video about this up right now, in fact, to members only for until one o'clock my time. So it's not long to go. And I do this because it's a promise I made. So if you want to join the members on YouTube, you know, there's a button, you can click it, you can do your thing. I'd very much appreciate it. I, I don't expect anybody to go over the first tier. It's only two bucks. So yay for that. Everything helps. But the point of it all is use what works for you. NVIDIA is no longer bad when it comes to Linux. And it has not been bad for a very long time. But people are so stubborn and so small that they won't let go of this. And it's so annoying. I can jump into any Linux distro, have NVIDIA up and running in like two minutes and fully functional and super quick and responsive. And for some reason, most people have skill issues and they don't know how to do that because they fail to pay attention. They fail to have an attention span. They don't know how to read. They don't know how to have patience. And it, they, they, then they run on Reddit. They're like, NVIDIA is so horrible. Mommy, help me. Daddy, daddy, daddy. And I'm just sitting here like, oh my God, you posted this. You actually decided to post this. Wow. It's kind of embarrassing when I see those posts because then I'm there sitting, correcting them, showing them how to get it done. And then uh, they come back a day later. They're like, I did what you said and it worked. Yeah, but they don't believe the post because it's getting them Reddit clicks. That's the world today. If you're not getting the attention you want online, you're not happy. Why? The one thing I do dislike about NVIDIA is that their control panel is completely useless on Waylet. And it's sad. Like, I can't even find it in here because of what I did to it. There it is. So here, I want to just show you something. <clears throat> so this is NVTOP. It shows the amount of VRAM you're using. By every way, recording an AV1 uses a ton of VRAM. It shows you your GPU percentage and stuff. It shows you how much power you're using. We're only using 36 watts, 37 watts, so it's barely anything. It show you, shows you which applications are using compute, so OBS and Resolve are both using compute. And in a nutshell, that's pretty much everything. I mean, Steam's not using compute. I, I have Steam open for some reason, so there's that. Don't argue about GPUs. Arc's good, AMD's good, NVIDIA's good, but NVIDIA is still the productive queen and king when it comes to video editing, photo editing, AI, path tracing, ray tracing, gaming, and NVIDIA, sorry, AMD doesn't look like they want to change that this year. They had an RDNA 4 GPU completely redone from the ground up that makes the 7900 XDX look like a kitten and they won't release it. They can do high-end GPUs, but they don't want to bother. Maybe it's because Lisa Sue is the first cousin, the first cousin of the NVIDIA CEO and they don't want to piss family off. I don't know. It's just a theory. You tell me. Anyway, just a simple video. We got to do better as a Linux community, guys. This is getting ridiculous. Stop shitting on NVIDIA. Take all that time and effort you put into that. And instead, go to therapy and make yourself better. Anyway, if you enjoy Linux videos, guides, and other things, subscribe. Join my community. We got lots of Linux helpers now, which is blowing my mind. And I have a stream tonight at 9. If you want to join me, that's 9 my time in Halifax, Nova Scotia. So there's that. I'm sorry if you're in Europe and it's like 4 a.m. for you, but I don't live in Europe. So yay. Bye, everybody.